This is Marissa, and I'm Sasha, and today we will be doing ASMR to teach you about ancient Africa. So, as you can see, Molly is right here. That's where they started their travel. Then they most likely moved to South America. Abu Bakari, the leader of the expedition, and Molly wanted to see if there was another bank on the other side of the Atlantic. Abu Bakari left Mali to his brother, Kianku Musa. They found evidence of their life in Uruguay and other South American countries. There are 3,000 miles between the two continents, so the entire trip would take an estimated time of three months. Please don't go to some of We gave you We just gave some other On the Mexican Gulf Coast, <laughs> historian Floyd Hayes found stone heads that were unmistakably African physiognomy. I'm going to be honest, there's a possibility that he never reached the New World. Just a heads up, this whole thing has been told by African griots. We found this too late, oh well. It turns out that Abu Bakari wasn't the first to cross an ocean. It was either Vikings or the Chinese. The more you listen to this, the more confusing it gets. I sincerely apologize. Every website tells us something different. So apparently, what I'm guessing is the Africans landed in a South American country after the Chinese and the Vikings found the Americas. Christopher Columbus supposedly found Africans when he arrived. Christopher Columbus found gold spears, and the chemical analysis of the spears showed it came from Africa. Thanks for watching our TED Talk.